Alright, so good day learners. So today let's talk about the types of volcanoes according to shape and its eruption. So our objectives for today describe the types of volcanoes according to its the shape of cone and the second one describe the different types of volcanic eruption. So, ano ba pag sinabi natin yung volcano? So, a volcano is an opening in the earth's surface where molten rocks, so we have molten rocks, smoke, gases, and ashes are erupted. And in the Philippine agency, we have what we call the DOST fee box. These are the government agency um, who is focusing on the study of the volcano and also the earthquake in the Philippines. So we have what we call the application of Department of Science and Technology. Under the DOST, we have the FIVOX or the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology. So we have different features of volcano. So before we discuss the shape of the cone and its eruption, so let us identify the features are the different parts of the volcano so we have so this is the cross section of a volcano as you can see we have the ash cloud the crater the vent the lava flow the summit the dike the side vent the flank the conduit and the seal so let us dissect that feature one by one so cone so cone, when we say cone, cone is the most striking part of the volcano. It's usually composed of mixtures of lava and pyroclastic. So that is like a cone shape. Okay, so that is the cone. Next, we have what we call the vent. So vent is the opening through which an eruption takes place. So we have the side vent or the main vent. This is, this is where the opening or the eruption takes place. Next, we can say that um, a landform is a volcano if there is a magma chamber. Ano? Pag may magma chamber, for example, yung mga landform na ganyan, kapag mayroon siyang magma chamber, it is a, under the volcano. Pag wala siyang magma chamber, it is a kind of mountain. Okay, so magma chamber is the large underground pool of liquid rock found beneath the earth's crust. So this is the magma chamber. So under this crust, so we have what we call uh, the mantle and we have the asten spear here. That is magma chamber is the reservoir or also known as the reservoir of magma. So next we have what we call the crater. So crater is a basin like depression over a vent at the summit cone so this one this also known as the crater next we have what we call caldera caldera is a volcanic depression much larger than the crater so that's a much larger if there is a crater mas malaki dun yung what we call the caldera next we have lava lava is the rock or magma expelled from a volcano during eruption so, ito yung inilalabas. Pag inilabas, so that is what we call the lava. Next, we have the dikes. So, dikes are the barrier or obstacle in a volcano. So, as you can see, para siyang harang. Yan. So, sa mga dike, mga dike. So, harang siya. So, as you can see, there's a kind of barrier or obstacle in a volcano. Kaya, minsan nakala natin yung volcano is a steep, a kind of steep. Pero, meron siya mga rock formation or land formation na ganyan. Next, we have what we call the seals. Seals is also known as the intru intrusive sheets. Are solidified lava flows that are originally forced their way between and parallel to the older layer of rocks. So as you can see, di ba may mga lava flow? For example, nagbigay ng lava ngayon. Pag yan ay natabunan, natabunan, natabunan. Now look at these seals. So yung pinaka ano, pinaka matanda dyan, yung nasa ilalim. At ang pinaka bata, yung nasa ibabaw. Kasi natatabunan siya, natatabunan. And also, the seals is a kind of on how to determine how old that rock is or how old that volcano is because of that in every layer. 
Next, we have what we call the conduit. So, conduit is a channel or pipe conveying liquid material such as magma. So, akala natin, so dito lang siya sa vent na to or sa main vent, lumalabas yung um, magma. But, may some of the volcanoes, may mga vent sila dito sa side. And, other side dyan, we have what we call the conduit. So, ito yung parang pipeline ano, or channel. So, nagmumula siya dito kay magma chamber. Next, we have what we call the flank. When we say flank, ito yung side of a volcano. Yan. So, tawag natin dyan ay flank. Next, we have what we call the summit. So, summit is the highest point or apex of a volcano. So, ito yung pinakatuktok if you want to reach the summit. And the throat is the entrance of a volcano. Next, we have what we call the ash cloud. So, ash cloud, so yung cloud, ulap, pero ash, or abo, is expelled in the atmosphere. We have the volcanic ash, or ash cloud is composed of pulverized rock and glass created during eruption. Yes, we have the pulverized rock and the glass because it contains the silica. Next, we have other features. We have the volcanic bombs are the chunks of lava blasted in the air which solidify before reaching the ground. So, I will show you what an nature of volcanic bombs. We have the pyroclastic flow and we have the tephra flow. And last, we have the lahar. So, when we say volcanic bombs and the pyroclastic flow, volcanic bombs yan, this is the chunk of lava blasted into the air. So, yung parang bato-bato na ano. Parang bomb. And we have the pyroclastic flow. A fast moving current of hot gases and rock traveling downhill from a volcano. So, para siyang, kaya nga yung firecracker, yung mga pyro, kaya nga tawag doon yung pyroclastic show, pyroclastic material, yung mga fireworks. So, this is what we call a like of volcanic bombs. And we have the pyroclastic flow. Yan ito yung mabilis na parang ash yung ash na mabilis we have the bombs mga bato-batong may init and tephra so tephra fall refers to the fragmented material that consists of pumice, scoria or crystals yan and also one of the and then making a coin Next, we have what we call lahar. So, kapag a volcano tapos umulan, nagkaroon ng mud flows, flowing mixture of volcanic debris and water, ang tawag natin doon yung lahar. Alright? So, yung mahirap. Pag pumunta kang vulkan, then umulan, nagkakaroon ng lahar. So, mas mahirap umalis or lumakad. So, where do they occur? So, nangyayari siya on the subduction zone. So, dyan, dito sa mga subduction zone, na kung saan yung mga plate boundaries natin. Yan, so we have the plate boundaries ay, yan, so as you can see, sa mga during convergent or divergent scenario. And also on the hotspots. Yan, hotspots. So, look at this. Um, kita yung mga volcano so as you can see nasa ano siya um, along the pacific ocean so kaya nga tinawag siyang ring of fire or the pacific ring of fire kasi sobrang daming vulkan dyan ano? sa pagdami ng vulkan so sa pagdating ng grade 10 i-discuss dyan bakit magkakarelate sila kasi ibig sabihin madami din dyang plate boundaries so we have what we call the types of volcanoes according to its shape we have composite volcano so remember this term we have composite so I will use a pen so we have the composite volcano we have the strat or also known as the strato volcano so it has the perfect slope yan like the mayon it has the perfect slope or also known as the perfect volcano. So, it's a tall mountain with a crater on top. So, we have the crater on top from which pyroclastic materials, gases, and lava escape. 
It is a form from alternate solidification of lava and cinders characterized by large and symmetrical slope. Its magma has a high silica content. Ano, yung magma niya, kasi one of the composition of magma having silica content. So, meaning high daw yung silica content. So, on the next topic, I will discuss that the characteristics of magma. At ano ba yung tiyatawag nating silica content? So, this is an example of composite volcano like in Mayon, in Albay. Yan. Bicol. The other famous stratovolcanoes, we have the Fuji, uh, the Dermont, the Krakatoa, the Kilimanjaro, and the Vesuvius, which is active one. Next, other features, we have what we call shield volcano. So if we have composite volcano, the other one naman is shield volcano. So ano ba to? It is a form by the accumulation of lava that oozes out from the volcano. It almost flat, so flat daw siya. Broad like a warrior shield. Ano? Kaya nga shield. Para daw siyang yung shield ng warrior. Yan, ganyan. So it has mag... The magma has a low percentage of silica. Kung ang composite having the high silica content, this, this shield volcano having low silica content, thus less viscous than composite volcano. Ano? So, mas mababa yung viscosity niya. When we say viscosity, it is the resistance of liquid to flow. Ano? So, it is the resistance... So, resistance of liquid to flow. Yan, the resistance of liquid to flow. Meaning, hindi siya ganun ka-thick. Ano yung flow niya? So, this is an example of the shield volcano. We have the Kilauea and the Mauna Lao in Hawaii. So, this is an example. Makikita niya para siyang dome shape or the shield-like. Ano? Parang flat siya. Next, we have what we call the cinder cone or the pyroclastic cone volcanoes. So, we have ito yung pangatlo na. We have the made up of pyroclast or the fragments of volcanic rocks that form steep slopes around their wide crater. So, we have built from the ejected lava fragments. So, having the wide crater, this is an example of Cinder Cone Volcano, we have the Mount Babuyan Claro in Babuyan Island. So, this is an example of Cinder Cone. Yan. So, we have the Taal. So, we all know a kind of... Pero dito one, this one, when the the eruption last time. So, ito yun. Ito yung kinoconsider. Pero this is the most, ano kasi, most featured. Pero all in all, they are all part of Taal din naman. Because Taal having a lot of calderas in Taal. So, we have types of volcanic eruptions. So, when we say volcanic eruptions, volcanic activities ranges from the releases of gas. It's either explosive or non-explosive burst that can have or last several hours. So, we have two kinds of eruption. We have the explosive. Ano, when we say explosive, parang sobrang lala. So, it is characterized by the gas-driven explosion that propels magma and tephra. So, build up of thick magma coupled with the large amounts of dissolved gases. Ano, ang dami na dissolved na gas within a volcano contributes to the most or the explosive eruption of lava, ash, and rocks. The other one, we have the effusive. Ano, ano naman yung effusive? So, effusive eruption features the outpouring of lava without significant explosive eruption. Lesser amount of dissolved gases are non-explosive. So, meaning explosive is uh, slight dangerous or more explosive while effusive is non-explosive other than explosive one so 
these are the types of volca volcanic eruption. So, may mga tawag tayo sa pagputok ng vulkan. Number one, we have what we call the phreatic or hydrothermal. Okay, again, it's what we call the phreatic. It's also known as the steam blast eruption. Para siyang steam, usok-usok lang. Um, it's a steam-driven explosions as hot rocks come in contact with water. Diba, pag mainit, tapos nagsama ka sa malamig nagkakaroon ng steam or usok it is a short leaf characterized by ash columns so may ash columns that may be an onset for an for a larger eruption release deadly toxic gas yes just like in Taal last time so ang una niya nagkaroon siya ng phreatic in the first in the first couple of hours so phreatic siya ano usok usok lang the other one we have, uh, by the way, so ano tong phreatic? Is it, is it um, explosive or effusive? Or effusive. Yan. So, what's that? Phreatic. So, if you know the answer, like, uh, put your answer in the comment section. Alright? And I will shout, shout out, I will give a shout out next time. Next, we have what they call the phreatomagmatic. So, phreatomagmatic, if phreatic is more on hot, a blast blast lang. So, this one is the violent reaction due to the contact between water and magma. Yan, may contact ng water and magma. And the ash column is very fine with ash, high speed, sideway emission of gas with the pyroclastic cold surges are observed. Meaning, if Phreatic is more on um, ash explosion, but this time, meron na siyang kasamang water and magma. Okay? Ibig sabihin, may mga nalabas na sa kanyang mga magmatic material. Okay? May mga magmatic material na siya. Kaya nga, freato magmatic. Ano? With the magma na to and the water or the steam. Okay? Um, in Taal, in the first couple of hours, we observe phreatic, but in the next, in the couple, um, first 12 hours to 24 hours, no, observe na natin tong phreato magmatic. Ano, kasi umuulan na ng, umuulan na ng mga lava, alright? Nagkakaroon ng mga pyroclastic materials, ba? If you are living along that lake shore, sa mga ano kasi, mga malalayo around um, if you are living beyond 14 kilometer radius, ash lang, ash po lang yung na-feel mo. But those who are living within um, uh, the Taal Volcano Island or within the 7 kilometer radius to 14, so ito yung mga naka-experience na may mga magmatic material or may mga pyroclastic fall. And also, pinag-iingat sila because there might be having a surges. Okay, surges. So, um, write the comment down. Number two, what is phreatomagmatic? Is it explosive or effusive? Next, we have what we call strombolian. So, strombolian eruption is a violent featuring continuous ejection of magma and gas. Okay? It results in the formation of volcanic bumps and cinder cones. Yes. So, during Strombolian, pwede daw magform ng volcanic bumps and cinder cones. It is also known as the fountain lava. Okay? Kung mapapansin nyo, para siyang fountain. Pero ang nilalabas niya ay lava. Okay? Now, as you can see on this, is a fountain lava are eruptions driven by the bursting of gas bubbles within the magma. Like, this one is an example of Mount Irazu in Costa Rica. Okay, so this is an example of Strombolian. Um, in Taal, yung madaling araw, noong after January 8, yung January 9, madaling araw, na-observe tong Strombolian. Yes, kaya in Taal, three volcanic eruptions ang na-observe. The phreatic, phreatomagmatic, and the strombolians. Alright, so that's the third volcanic eruptions. So, as you can see, form a cinder cone. Okay, 
So, nag-cinder cone siya. So, number three, right? If it is explosive or effusive. Next, number four, we have what we call Vulcanian. A Vulcanian is characterized by the tall eruption columns. Tall. Okay? That reach up to 20 km high with the pyroclastic flow and ash fall tephra is an explosive eruption that occurs when the pressure and trapped gases become sufficient to blow off the overlying crust of solidified lava. It's an example of paracutin volcano in Mexico. Alright, so as you can see, mapansin nyo sa phreatic and phreatum magmatic, parang surrounded of bodies of water, but this one, it's not surrounded by the bodies of water. But as you can see, we have um, the ash cloud, uh, how the um, how the ash cloud is being elevated, very um, observable that the columns or the eruption columns um, vertically uh, having the pyroclastic flow and ash flow. Ano? Mostly it is the um, common and observed when there is a volcanic eruption. This is what we call Vulcanian. And this one is very explosive one, okay? This one is a very explosive one, and it it can be part of um, stratus uh, troposphere to stratosphere. So ganon yung mga maabot niya, ano? Marami tong maabot. It depends sa pan kung gaano kadaming magmatic material and the pyroclastic flow and ash flow ang ilalabas niya. So, next, so what is it Vulcanian? Is it explosive or effusive? Write your answer in the comment section. So, this is an example of Vulcanian. Okay, that's a beautiful disaster. Next, we have what we call the Plinian. So, the last one, we have what we call the Plinian. It's considered the most explosive and powerful of all eruptions. Okay. Powerful of all eruptions. So we have the eruptions often start suddenly. Suddenly, ha, it starts suddenly biglaan. And unexpectedly after a long period of dormancy. Kaya siya tinawag na most explosive kasi bigla siyang sasabog from the period of being dormant. Ano, ano ba yung dormant? Ito yung mga ano, kind of volcano na, na natutulog lang. Pero hindi mo alam kung active or inactive. Pero ito yung may mga magma chamber. Pero sobrang natutu natu dahil natutulog lang sila. Tapos bigla agad silang sasabog. Ano? So meaning there is no... Um, um, it is under monitor naman but it is not totally part of... Si siguro part of the top 5 being monitored kasi there is no volcanic activity. Meaning, hindi sila unlike yung other na may mga alert level na na-hoist. Okay? Pwede mga alert level 1, alert level 2, alert level 3 na bibigyan pa ng signal. But this one, from being a period, you know, from yung natutulog, tapos bigla agad siyang magsasabog. So, this one is very, kaya nga tiyatawag yung most explosive. I, if I'm not be mistaken, if you have watched the, I think in the Pompeii movie, that is one of the ano, most destructive and most explosive volcanic activity. So it features, and also I would like to encourage you to watch Dante's Peak. Okay, Dante's Peak movie. That's a very um, kind of volcanic eruption. So it features large explosive events that form enormous dark columns of tephra and gas high into the stratosphere. Yan. This one, umabot na siya ng stratosphere. Divide the layer of our atmosphere, we have the troposphere. And next, we have the stratosphere. So, pag umabot na dito, ibig sabihin, sobrang taas na niya. Meaning, abot na niya yung kung saan ipapalip pa yung airplane. Kung saan nalipad yung airplane. Okay? Next. So, those are the types of volcanic eruption. And now, so answer this nga on the comment section. Write your answer in the comment section. So, the question is, what are the three, the types of volca volcanoes according to shape of the cones? So, ano to? The other one, 
Ano naman yung mga five eruptive styles? Okay? Write your answer on the comment section. And I will give you a shoutout on the, my next vlog. Next tutorial pala. Alright, that's all. Thank you for listening. God bless everyone.